Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for the cheapest and fastest coins anywhere. Use code Zerk at checkout for 10% off your order. And if you guys want to compete in tournaments for cash prizes, check out tourneycrypt.com. What's going on guys? It's Xerxes coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have got Deuce McAllister gameplay. Now as you guys know, I usually never go ahead and put like abilities or x-factor abilities on players, but Deuce McAllister, I really wanted to see how he does with the bruiser ability. So I did actually put bruiser on him and clutch. I didn't put an X-Factor on, but I did put Bruiser. It was a lot of training. Cost me like 80,000 coins of training. So make sure you guys smack the like button down below. I asked on Twitter who you guys want to see a gameplay with. Deuce McAllister was the winner of that. He has 84 speed with 83 acceleration, 81 agility, 90 carrying, 63 catch, 72 looseness, but the man's got 89 trucking and an 87 break tackle. Now, of course, he also has an 83 strength in my team with a 90 carrying. Very good. Uh, his juke and spin is not that good. 68 and 80 juke boost. So, more than likely, I'm going to be trying to hit people with the stiff arm in the truck, which is what Bruiser actually gives a boost to, is more powerful uh, trucking and stiff arm abilities. Unfortunately, unpowered up anyways, he cannot actually get arm bar. I don't know if he can arm up with his uh, power up or not, but I do have Deuce McAllister. And you guys see with the rest of the team, we also have OBJ, which is Carter, is now changed. The rest of the offense and on the defensive side of things, you guys can see the squad. Uh, I'll probably have a shopping spree video for you guys tomorrow. Definitely want to make a couple upgrades. And of course, we can link with back, I believe, this upcoming week, unless they decide to change anything. So with that being said, let's get into the gameplay. The deuce is loose. So it looks like that's either my top three or my opponents. I still don't know, and I'm going to guess that one was my top three, but it's not really. So first play, I actually did want to get the ball to Deuce here on the run, but I think he's going to be covering it. So I'm going to go to the pass here and see if we can find him open the flats, which I think he is open. See if we can hit Lawrence Taylor with a stiff arm, and that one didn't work. Let's try to go to the run game now with the Deuce McAllister. See if we can get this one to work. I did, of course, put the bruiser cam on him, so I can truck better, but can't really truck LT. Let's try to get the pass game going here as well. Let's see if we can motion out Tory Holt. Maybe find Jerry Rice open here, which it looks like he's not going to be. Uh, Deuce is actually open the flat, so I'm going to take that check down and try to pick up the first down. Stiff arm, fall forward about another 10 yards. Now, of course, if you guys want to pick up on some tips and tricks from pro players and also want to see some ebooks, make sure you check out Hot Route Dead Tips. Link is in the description. They actually have an office ebook over there and two defense playbooks already up on there. So make sure you guys check it out. There's a monthly and, of course, a yearly subscription available as Mark Sounds picking up a first down. And of course, remember, use code Zerk. Links in the description. Let's see if we can get Marcus Allen. Actually, not Mark Sound, Deuce McAllister. For some reason, I thought Mark Sound was still in the game. Deuce McAllister, not picking up much there. It's second and 14, but I'm still going to try to run it here with Deuce. Let's see if we can just get some solid blocks. We get some pretty solid first level blocks, and we get leveled again by LT. That's not very good. So I guess it doesn't matter who you have at running back because Lawrence Taylor is Lawrence Taylor and he will absolutely demolish you. My opponent's probably going to go back to the same exact play here, so let's see if I can guard it again. I'm going to watch this corner route. I'm all over that chase here. Thank you for letting me get the user pick, and this could potentially be a pick six. I'm, I'm about to juke the crap out of him. Yeah, you're not going to catch me with Andrew Luck. That's going to be a big pick six. He's going to be back on the defense side of things. We're actually off the side of things, so we don't get to run in with Deuce, but we get the pick six. All right, defense, what is he going to be going to? Looks like he's going to motion over someone here. Probably going to end up being a run, so I'm going to try and stuff this. Actually, no, it's a play action. I'm still going to go for it, though. And Ramsey, that ball was really overthrown. I got a blitz coming down on that right side, and it looks like he's going to be running to the right. That is definitely not going to work. Third and 11, usually when people come out in five wide, they try to go to their slot receiver here to the left side, which he's actually got him on a slant. Gonna come back, LT, with the interception, and I could run this in for a pick six, but I'm actually gonna go down and try to punch it in with Deuce. Reggie White just deflected that pass, and Lawrence Taylor just came by and swooped it up. That was pretty nice to see. Deuce McAllister getting the truck there, but only picks up one. Let's try to run it again with Deuce McAllister. Might hit the outside if we can just hold the block on LT, which it looks like Jamal Adams is going to be there, but Deuce McAllister just broke through a tackle and picks up a gain of three. Well, I dove down for a reason, and that reason was to score a touchdown with Deuce McAllister. I'm going to run it again on third and goal. Can we get some decent blocks in the inside? Oh, we got tripped up. Well, I know this was very stupid to do, but it's fourth and goal, and I could have a pick six. I'm not settling for a field goal here. We're going to try and punch it in. Deuce McAllister, can we get in? And we do for the touchdown. 
Once again, he's coming on five wide. Reggie White, can we see another SWAT? And Lawrence Taylor with another interception. I think it's possible. Watching out back for the slant, and we get the sack with Von Miller. There's that series master Von Miller finally showing up in one of these gameplays. Third and 16, though. What is he going to go to here? Von Miller's on that right side. See if we can get around the edge. And Houston coming away with the interception. Good play there from Ken Houston. And again, guys, I'm pretty sure. Never mind. I was going to see if we could pick six. I was about to go down. And it looks like my opponent may be quitting this game, so we're going to go ahead and get into another one. So it says that's my opponent's top three, but that's a pretty wild top three. And it says that's my top three. All right, Deuce, again, my opponent is coming out, and it looks like this guy is also planning to stack the boxing into Pekalster. I probably would too. Deuce hitting the outside here. He's got his arm out, but couldn't reach contact, and we lose too. It seems like everybody is pretty aware when you happen to have a good running back, and they definitely try to stop it as Deuce hitting the outside here, and he's picking up a gain of three. All right, I'm going to have Deuce run blocking here on 4th and 9 or pass blocking. Let's see if we can get someone open. It looks like Ertz should be open on that out route. Please come down with the catch. Thank you, Zach Ertz. Turn up the field, pick up a gain of about 15. I'm going to run the ball here again with Deuce McAllister. Let's see if we can get the run game to work this time. He's using that safety, so he's trying to plug it up as we have a gain of about 4. All my opponents that I face seem to be trying to just plug up the run and mostly just trying to stop this run game. Let's see if we can run it again. Deuce to the outside, trying to truck over someone. We fell forward. Let's see if we can get Deuce McAllister here open on this angle route. I think he might get open. It is man coverage. Deuce, make the catch. And he actually did hang on. Good. I'm going back to the same exact formation, but I think... Let's do it. Let's run the ball here. Deuce McAllister, can we get the first down? Deuce right up the middle for the first down, and we can't get the stiff arm that we need, though. All we needed to do was break one guy there, and Deuce McAllister couldn't do it. That's a little bit disappointing. Mark Sound's actually in the game, so let's try and run the ball with him now as Marcus Sound, you can tell, is a little bit different. It's third and three, and Deuce is back in the game, so my opponent is instantly going to stack the box here. But I'm actually not going to be going to the run game. I'm going to try and pass it, see if Jerry's going to be open, which it looks like Jerry Rice completely torched him. That's an easy touchdown. I'm watching out for the run, and I have to watch out for the drags. He probably thinks it's man coverage here, so let me mix it up to zone. And what's he going to be going to now? I'm watching the drags, watching the slants, anything over the middle, I'm all over it. Hoping to just stop the run game here as I'm watching the curl. Nothing's open. Sending a blitzer at him, and he... I'm right there, man. I'm right there. I honestly think we have good enough defenders here to just run man coverage versus this guy as he's actually going to the pass here. Watch out for the slants. He's got double slants. Had to choose one, and luckily we get the second time. All right, I'm running to cover two because I really don't think he's going to chuck it deep at all. If he does, then I am so screwed here as it looks like Kittle's going to be open deep, and I'm all over that. Watching the post route, he has to check it down to Gurley, who's not going to get the first. Okay, we should have everything set up here so that we can stop the corners and we can stop an out route. So everyone should be good because that's like this dude's favorite play is like throwing an out right here. So we should be able to stop it. Watching out for the slant. And of course, he beats me down the seams, man. Good play there by my opponent. Let's see if he gets a playoff before the two-minute warning. I'm kind of expecting another out route maybe. And no, he's actually going to the end zone. Blunt just didn't make a play. So we had a pretty solid kick return, already down to the 48-yard line now. I'm going to try and run the ball here, please. Just block Lawrence Taylor to the outside. Thank you, Deuce McAllister. Truck this man. Didn't even need to. Deuce is loose, picking up a big gain, and he get a nasty stiff arm. There we go. Finally getting Deuce McAllister going in this game. Let's try and run the ball again. I'm going to try and truck someone to the outside, and we fall forward. Aaron Donald, good tackle. Let's try a toss play. Actually, I think he's expecting a toss, so now let me switch it. I'm going to run up inside. And so we can get some decent blocks, we actually have to bounce to the outside. Great stiff arm there from Deuce McAllister on Reggie White. Reggie White just got absolutely thrashed there. Let's see if we can find Jerry Rice. Looks like he's probably not going to be open. I don't really see anyone open. Actually, we have Zach Ertz. Please come down with this catch, Zach Ertz. Thank you. Fall forward. Down to the one. Perfect. It's third and goal. I'm pretty sure my opponent knows what's going on. I am running the ball. He knows it. You guys know it. I know it. And he still can't stop Deuce McAllister. All right, defense, 17 seconds left. Just don't get beat down the seams. That's all we need to do is just not get beat deep as we get another sack for Reggie White. And, of course, if you guys don't know, Reggie White is actually one of my X-Factor players. So if he gets one more sack, he's going to have his unstoppable force going here as he's looking to chuck it deep. And we got beat, but luckily we get a good tackle. So my opponent with one second left is actually going to run the ball here. I didn't expect that, but that didn't work out too well. Second half starting off, my opponent does get the ball to start as he's running an RPO. Can we please get out there to stop Todd Gurley, who finally breaks one loose and picks up a first down? 
This has got to be a run to the right with an RPO on that left side, probably. So I just set it up to stop it. And actually, no, it is going to be a pass. Watching out across the middle, Von Miller with another sack. And actually, I think it's Von Miller's first sack in this game. Thought he had a sack, but I guess he got one in the last game. Second and goal noise back to the 18-yard line. I, I bet you he's going like a corner out. And I accidentally just blitz Mel Blunt. Now I'm going to put him in man coverage on Torrey Holt and try to help out over there as well. He's got the tight end open. He beat me. I really want to see Deuce McAllister just stiff arm the crap out of someone. As we're going to run it here to the left side, Deuce McAllister, can we get a stiff arm on someone? I'm putting the arm out there, but we can't really get anyone to come after him. I'm actually running five wide on fourth and nine, but I'm going to put Zach Ertz on a slant and also McAllister on a slant. So my opponent kind of has to make a decision there. And then we might even have Jerry Rice open here, depending on what my opponent does, as it looks like we're probably going to get Ertz open, and now we end up taking a sack. I thought he would try and switch off of Zach Ertz and go to McAllister there, so I was probably looking at Zach Ertz the entire way as he's running to the outside here, and he's picking up a first down. Second and six, he's probably going to run it again, and it actually is going to be a run. It was an RPO. Gurley, though, and for a touchdown, we got to step it up. Oh, Torrey Holt. Can we bust it loose? Torrey, get some good blocks. Torrey Holt on the kickoff is going to take this one all the way down to inside the 30. Third and 10, let's see if we can find someone open on a drag route here. B probably will be open. He got stuck on a defensive lineman, so we are going to go to B here and fumble. Thank God that went out of bounds. It's fourth and five. I doubt that he thinks we're about to run the ball. He's bringing down that safety, though. You know what? I'm still running it. Deuce McAllister, can we pick up the first down? Let's make something happen. Deuce getting open, getting in the open field, and we're down to the one. That's what I like to see. I know this man is stacking the box. I don't care. I am running the ball again. Deuce McAllister, dang. So first and goal, we took a huge hit. Second and goal, I'm running it again. Opponent, you better be expecting this because you should know. I'm running the ball, Deuce McAllister, and trucking over Luke Keekley for the touchdown. Deuce McAllister just ran over Luke Keekley on the goal line there. Nice play from Deuce. That's what you like to see as he's going with a low pass. That's incomplete. Defense, can we stop Todd Gurley? That's all I need to know. If we can stop Gurley, I think we've got this guy's offense on lockdown as he's chucking it up. We come away with the interception. Mel Blunt with the INT. Thank you, Mel Blunt. And we're making him miss some tackles all the way down now to the 32. All we needed was one play from the defense, and we got that one play. Now let's try to go back to the run game here. Can we get some good blocks? Hit the outside. Deuce is stuck on someone, but he still picks up a gain of three. It's third and nine, and I'm still running the ball. Deuce McAllister right up the middle. Can we get some good blocks? We definitely did not get good blocks. All right, so I'm going to take my field goal here. Two and a half minutes left. We just have to hold out, maybe get a stop, get the ball back, try to run some more with Deuce. Third and four, what's he going to go to here? Probably going to be the run, and it's an RPO. Can we get out there and stop it? Gilmore, I don't think he got the first. So we didn't get the first down, and now he's going for it on fourth and one. I'm run committing. I am run committing on this guy. I seriously doubt that he is about to go to the pass. If he does, then he can be with the top. I ran commit, and we stop him. Let's go. Thank you, whoever got the stop there. Now we have the ball back, and it's time to close out the game with Deuce McAllister. Let's see if we can do it. Getting a stiff arm. Deuce McAllister is breaking free and hitting a juke move. That's what I'd like to see. I'm going to try an RPO of my own here and see if he decides to maybe guard that screen, which he does. Going to have to hand it off. Deuce McAllister, really, really slow, picking up the first down. Now we're over 100 yards with Deuce McAllister. We have like 25 carries with him to get that 100 yards, but it was some good carries. Deuce McAllister in the outside here, hitting a stiff arm on LT, and that's going to be another touchdown. Make that three. Well, the Deuce is loose. We're up 31 to 21 now with 40 seconds left. If we get the ball back, I'll just keep feeding the ball to Deuce McAllister because now we are up by 10 points, and we finally got that third touchdown. LT coming in for the sack. And now Reggie White has his ability as he just got a sack there, so he has unstoppable force. He should come in screaming as he just broke up that guy. Another sack for LT, and that's the end of the game. So as you guys can see, McAllister had 24 rushes for 119 yards, three touchdowns, zero fumbles in this game, and three broken tackles, 51 yards after contact. I think that's a pretty solid day. With that being said, though, I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and if you did, smack the like button, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys next time.